In this video, we provide the solution to question number eight from the practice final exam for Math 1060. And we're asked to find the product of cosine of 15 degrees plus I sine of 15 degrees squared. And we want to write this complex number in standard form. So it should look something like A plus BI, a real part plus an imaginary part. Now I notice here that this complex number is already in polar form. So this is equivalent to E to the I times 15 degrees like so, and you're squaring this, right? The, the, the modulus of this complex number is one. So the fact that this is in polar form makes the calculation much more straightforward. This is gonna be e to the i. We actually multiply the exponent when we have these nested exponents like so. So this is actually gonna be i times 30 degrees like so, which is the same thing as cosine of 30 degrees plus i sine of 30 degrees like so, cosine of 30 is going to be root three over two, and sine of 30 is gonna be one half. So you get root three over two plus i over two. And so then we would select choice F as our correct answer. Notice we didn't actually need to know what cosine of 15 degrees or sine of 15 degrees was. Uh, we didn't have a calculator, so we could have possibly memorized that using a half angle identity or angle difference or whatever. But it turns out using Dumovla's de Mavra's theorem makes this so much easier because when you multiply together complex numbers in polar form, we're just gonna add together uh, their arguments.